dreams. Dreams are, to me, just much better than life. Dreams are something that are absolutely magical and wonderful that you prefer living in there and than life itself. Life is boring. Life is lame. Working, schooling, and nothing too wonderful happens. You even have dreams of deja vu, things you recalled in the past. I have been a male student living in Iowa since the day I was born. Not very as much of a special state, but does have its qualities to it. If you're wondering why this has to do with dreams, let me tell you something. There is a genre of stories that pe of people that once saw lost media. Yes, dreaming of lost media is very possible for some people, and even leads them to search for the media. How is that, basically? You know, how you likely lose memories of your past selves and forget about them? Well, sometimes you then remember them again by some sort of home video of pretty much you as some sort of baby or toddler. At age three, I remember watching something that was absolutely horrific for me at the time. It wasn't a gore video, nor a live-action horror movie, but a 2D cartoon movie that looked like it appeared to be made in the 80s. It was like 57 minutes long, and I think it was a movie that was never supposed to be targeted towards kids, but an older audience. For some reason, I had two dreams of the two scenes I could only remember after those. One night, I didn't sleep too well, but I did sleep, fall asleep around 4 in the morning. I forgot to take my night medicine, therefore I couldn't sleep too well. What I dreamed that night was at the beginning of the animated film. I was sitting on the bed watching television. The film begins with our character, who was a, who was a man with flannel and jeans, had blue eyes and blonde hair. He was actually feeding the chickens and the cows. All of a sudden, it was about to storm out, so he went inside in my dream then and there. I wrote this dream down in my dream journal after that. Then, days later, I began to kind of reunite a memory I had as a three-year-old at the time. But I was never... But I never dully, fully remember the rest of the the rest of the film. But until six months later, during th that time, I was actually at a motel during a trip to Wyoming. Wyoming. I was basically going to my brother's house and began recognizing something familiar. I slept. However, I slept well. I took my medicine after that. But the dream I had, I was the scene that haunted me as a three-year-old child. I was at a television screen again, and I was inside of an empty living room. It's just a couch and a television inside it. Seems to me that it was a day out hour at that dream. And I looked at the screen. The screen, the scene was the man. He was walking to the cornfields and the skies. The skies were well, very, and I mean very well done and bone chilling. They didn't look very realistic or anything like that, but the way those dark gray skies and how it feels was really fantastic and well-colored. It feels like some sort of horror indie game. But anyway, the man walks towards the fields and finds something. The camera angle towards what appears to be a hole. But this is where things get really disturbing. All of a sudden... Its head appeared slowly and slowly got out of the hole, feet away from the man, and I will describe this creature. It is a human body attached to a tarantula. Think about a centaur, but a tarantula. Centaur, but a tarantula. Not only that, he had these snake eyes. He had rotten, sharp teeth, horns on its bare backs, and had a tail of a horse. It made a horrendous roar and ran very fast. The man ran as quickly as he could until he stops at the dead end. However, there are more monsters, and they're very creepy, too. They cornered the man so he couldn't get out. He cuts back to the sky and shows our second monster. The second creature was a green owl with the head of a lion. It had human teeth, and the thing made a sound that sounded like an evil eagle mixed with a morning dove and a dog growling all together. It cuts back to the dead end, and the monsters are trapping the man. There were zombies. Nothing too special about them, but the way they spoke was too unsettling. Then the fourth creature was an ape with a frog head and fangs. He had cat paws. Then the fifth creature was the most horrifying. A malnourished man's body with arms and legs of an elephant. 
cuts to them all approaching the man and devouring him. I eventually woke up from the dream and began to actually memorize this film I watched as a three-year-old all of a sudden. Scared the living shit out of me. for so But I don't know what I even got a dream. How I even got a dream on me watching a film I when I watched it during that age. And now I have never memorized much at all nowadays. I was still a freaking adult from those dreams. And now I begin to recognize a film I have seen for a long time. This led me to a search. I went to the r slash tip, the tip of my tongue subreddit and asked about this movie I began to realize quickly after a random dream. All I know is that the, those dreams act, just act familiar. But the thing is, the movie is lost forever. But the film, the people have been familiar with the supposed film. And they claim it's about a farmer realizing weird things around his farm and investigated to see what it was and saw that there were a bunch of creatures all of a sudden that killed him. People also had weird dreams of lost media that they would recognize all of a sudden. I've heard this. I heard this while looking up media and dreams. I've heard there's something sometimes mu music, movies. TV shows or whatever that doesn't exist in the real world and only existed in dreams. But there has been times of people following it and sometimes even finding it. I hope I find this film someday.